Okay, I'm back, but most of you don't know I was here to begin with. Um, thanks, Kendra. Okay, got it. I think I've got this down, but it takes a little doing. Um, so uh, I don't know why I told everyone to have a happy 4th of July yesterday because I knew I was coming back today and I was going back and forth about what to make. I was going to make a red, white, and blue trifle. I was going to do a um, like a cake with our uh, buttercream frosting and then, you know, make stars and stripes on it with blueberries and cherries and stuff like that. Cherries, probably strawberries. Um, so anyway, I decided um, not to do that when my girls said they wanted that Becca loves these chocolate crinkle cookies I make with our product. So today I'm gonna go ahead and make the chocolate crinkle cookies and the way I like getting around it um, and not doing a red, white, and blue thing is first of all, I'm wearing red. And second of all, I'm gonna call these um, fireworks cookies because they do look like they exploded when they're done. So it's very easy. Um, most of our, our recipes are so easy. I'm using our chocolate baking mix um, and the other product I'm gonna use is our buttercream frosting. If you love frosting, this is like so good. You can make so many different kinds with it. Um, the recipe on the back calls for heavy cream and butter, but I make a uh, cream cheese frosting with this. It's so good, um, but it's great for a lot, of, a lot of different things. You know, if you even, what did I use it for the other day? There was something I got it out for and rolled um, something in it. I can't remember. Okay, so all you need to do, and I will turn you down now. I moved my KitchenAid over to here. Okay, we got everything. Okay, so the first thing I need is one and three quarters cup of baking mix. Okay, there's one. And I didn't even realize till recently that this measuring cup had like everything measured out on the inside too. So that'll be three quarters. <clears throat> and then, um, I mean, the good thing about it too is everything you need is something you really have at home. This is three tablespoons of melted butter. How easy is that? Everyone's got that much around, right? Whoops, we're not on camera here. Um, I'll move this over. There we go. Three tablespoons melted butter and one egg. How is that for like the easiest amount of products that you could ask for? Oh, okay. I always have to have a paper towel or a towel around. Okay, so we're going to pour that in. And really, you can mix it by hand. I've got this and it'll go a little bit faster. Although it always does that. But that's why you love me. Mm. Okay, and it does not take long till it clings together. <clears throat> that's all you really need. Really, this is even on stir, so you can see that it's, let's get it to clean a little bit faster. Okay, let me scrape this up. And, hmm, I think I'm going to add a touch of water into it. Just like, I mean, it's like half a teaspoon, maybe. Just get it to get together a little bit quicker. Um, uh, there we go. Okay, you can see it's sort of starting to cling together now. And that's what we want. I have a feeling I left a little too much butter in that container. Okay, while that is finishing up, I will go ahead and talk. Yeah, the crinkle cookies are fabulous, aren't they, Kendra? Um, so what I'm going to do, as soon as these are ready to go, I'm going to take a Ziploc bag, 
because then there's no cleanup. Although I try to be really green. This is like one time I, I just have a hard time. <laughs> I like less cleanup. Okay, so I'm gonna just pour some of the frosting mix in there. You don't need a ton. Just enough to get all the cookies covered in it. Okay, and now we are together. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, you know, you can just use a spoon if you want. I, um, I like to use the little scoopers. So I'm going to scoop and I'm gonna push it. Oh, you can't see, sorry. I'm gonna push it really hard into there so it really stays together. You might even wanna do it a little bit with your hand. Okay, so make sure that's there. And then I'm gonna scoop this <clears throat> right into the bag. And I'm gonna do that a bunch of times. And like I said, you can make these by hand if you want. Whatever is easiest for you. If you don't have one of these um, scoopers, I've got, hey, I've got a Pampered Chef person that could get them for you. Okay, so that is that is all you have to do. Let me, I'll just show you what we do here. Just toss them in there. <clears throat> And then you have this um, covered little chocolate ball. And I will show you what they look like. They cook for, uh, what's it say, 12 minutes, I think. Yep, they cook for 12 minutes. And um, then we take them out and I'll show you what they look like. They do sort of look like they exploded, so that's fun. Um, Again, thank you for all the people sending me congratulations and all the stuff for um, being one of the tops in sales at our company. And let me tell you, when this is all over and we can all get out um, and do stuff together, my networking groups, we're gonna be having some great parties. In fact, maybe I'll just do a big party here, but I'm not gonna do it till it's safe because um, I care about you guys too much and don't want anybody else getting sick. So um, take care of yourselves, have a fun fourth, um, if you are going for fireworks, be safe. Don't let any teenagers do it. They're idiots when it comes to fireworks. <laughs> Although I am thinking about going to get some sparklers, at least for us. Um, but stay safe. Have a great fourth, and I will see you next week. Thanks.